Now, there's something just a delight to be outdoors in the sunshine, blue sky, but more than that, to be with one of the first ever, or I think Jeremy might be about to correct me, the first ever proper electric vehicle. Um, so, yeah, wow, what is this? What can you tell? What can you tell us about this, Jeremy? Well, Roger, this is a replica because the original doesn't exist of what we believe and everyone seems to agree on is the first rechargeable electric vehicle um, the original was built in 1881 by a french guy called gustave trouvé he didn't build the tricycle that was from the uk from england uh, from coventry in fact and it's a coventry lever tricycle which came shortly after the penny farthing and bicycles were evolving very quickly uh, as was everything else at that time and he married a rechargeable battery an electric motor with this tricycle and then rode it down the streets of Paris in April 1881 so 140 years ago wow wow it's fantastic um and yeah look it's it's an electric vehicle whatever we want to describe it as in terms of technical terms or anything it is an EV it has a battery it has a motor and it has wheels <laughs> Well, that kind of ticks every box. It kind of does, yeah, and and sort of steering, you know. So, well, yeah, the, listen, the, steer, the steering would make a black cab driver in London envious because well, it really can spin virtually, you know, on its own on its own length. Yeah. But as I said, this is a replica. It's built by a wonderful guy in North Yorkshire called Christian Richards, who builds penny farthings um, at the same kind of price point that um, you know a carbon fibre bicycle these days might go for. Uh, but he's fastidious and he's hand built this um, the spokes he's all made to length tuned them with his fingers uh, brass on the uh, on the hubs and then the only modern nod is the battery and the motor on this is from a modern e-bike um, to, to rebuild a Victorian battery might be a bit dodgy <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to sit on a whole load of steel, you know, connected to um, one of the earliest, if not the earliest, rechargeable battery ever. I, I think um, that was a good shout. I think yeah. that was a wise move. Although, Absolutely. Uh, as we just found out, the uh, the fuse in this, it's a 24 volt e-bike battery. So it's got a lot of juice, but it's not wonderful at going up hills. Mm. Christian's kept the pedals on, although it operates, as you found, without any pedal power. But the pedals are on there. And he's put an extra cog on to connect the uh, electric motor. And the only thing he had to go from was an illustration of Trouvé going down the streets in Paris, chased by a dog, watched by a whole load of probably very surprised Parisians. Um, that's the only detail. One picture, nothing One else. Picture, nothing no else. schematics, no nothing, nothing no. at all. Well, I think so, he's done a I, tremendous job. And. I, I, this was something I was doing some research. I'm, I'm lucky enough to do quite a lot in the EV world, uh, including putting a Formula E car on the ice cap in Greenland a few years ago, and uh, was researching a new project and found this story about Truve and wondered whether his tricycle still existed. It doesn't. He put the motor soon afterwards on a boat and ran it down the River Seine. So the original doesn't exist, and the joy of the internet found. Christian Richards and asked him whether he could build a replica and in five weeks with the support of Maxus who have electric vans and have been a great partner because let's face it Maxus don't sell 1881 um, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>